with the threat of winter weather, it's really important to remember what to do if you do run into a slick spot and you lose control of your car. Meteorologist John Haverfield takes us to the BOK Center to simulate how to keep control on the ice. We're at the BOK Center at the Oilers Hockey Rink to demonstrate what it's like to drive on the ice. We've got Mark from AAA with us, and he's going to give us some advice on what to do if you lose traction. One important thing that you mentioned uh, should be the first step. Yeah, and we're talking about safety. This is a phone. Put it down. Two eyes on the road, two hands on the steering wheel. We're going to position the car for a slide. I'm going to accelerate through the slide here. All right, okay. so if you do find yourself sliding, take your foot off the accelerator, very lightly on the brake, point the steering wheel in the direction you want the car to go. That's the easiest way to remember how to get out of a skid. People get unnerved with the anti-lock brakes, which are going to kick in. Let them do their job. It's okay. Keep your foot on that brake pedal. You'll feel the ABS quaking, but that's all right. That's exactly what it's supposed to do. Okay. Now, something about sliding, people think that four-wheel drive is a solve-all for everything. It's not. Ice is ice, whether it's four-wheel drive or two-wheel drive. So watch out for the people next to you, plenty of distance, and please, please allow yourself plenty of time to get to your destination. Does ice first on the overpasses because there's no ground temperature to protect that. Right. Keep your cruise control off. You don't want cruise control when you're in bad weather. Watch out for the hills. Here in Tulsa, obviously they're up and down. You want to be prepared for that when you're going to need to stop, when you're going to need to accelerate. But again, if, if, if you can avoid stopping and just keep going in, a, in almost a slow motion mode, that's perfect. That's what you want. 